In this upcoming series of videos, we're going to explore the differences between wireframe machining and solid machining. There are many Mastercam users that think you still need to extract wireframe from a solid object to create a toolpath. With today's new enhancements, that is typically not the case, but there are some exceptions. This is the start of round one, wireframe versus solids. We're going to start out by using a apples to apples comparison. Same geometry created this solid as you see in this wireframe here. So we're going to just start with a simple facing. Whether we're machining wireframe or solids, we still need to select our machine. In this case, I'm going to use our default machine and we get our tool group. Let's start with a facing operation on the wireframe. I'm going to pick facing and my chaining manager will come up. In this case here I'm going to limit it to a construction plane and grab my chain. I'm going to flip my arrow in this direction here. I like to keep my arrows consistent just so I can keep track of things. And I'm going to accept that chain. Now I'm going to go into select a tool and we're just going to select a library tool. Library tool is going to be a two inch face mill in this case. And I have my two inch face mill in slot number one. And we're just going to say facing. I want to select a holder. And our cut parameters. I want to say dynamic. And I'm going to say that I don't want to leave any stock that's going to face to the finished part in this case. Right now I'm going to leave the default step overs and parameters. Under linking parameters, I'm just going to say the top of stock here is 50 thousandths above the finished part. And I'm going to finish the depth of zero where the face of the part is. And I'm just going to turn on coolant. And I've got my facing operation on my wireframe. So now we're going to do the same thing for our solid. Right now we don't have to select a machine because we've already done that. We're going to go to facing. Instead of wireframe, we're going to select solid. And we'll have some different options in this case here. And right now I'm going to turn off facing and I'm just going to use the loop selection. And I'm going to pick in the same place I did on the wireframe. It's going to ask me to confirm this is the face that I want to loop around. And in this case it is. So I'm going to confirm that. I'll flip my arrow just to be consistent with uh, our facing operation in our wireframe operation. I'll confirm that's the check chain that I'd like to machine. I'm going to go to my tool. We're going to use the same tool just to be consistent. Same holder. Linking parameters. It's the what was left there is, is uh, adequate for the same keep things the same. Um, coolant. We'll just make sure it's on, and that's good. So in this operation here, we get pretty much the identical result. Let's back plot both operations to confirm the results are identical. I've got both operations selected here. Now I'm going to hit the back plot button. 
And we'll hit play. And as you can see, we have the same result on a wireframe as we do on the solid model.